All right, everybody. Welcome in. You've reached the Crypto Mike 9000 podcast on YouTube. Thank you very much for being here. Please join me on Patreon for bonus content. Lots of bonus content on Patreon. You can find me at Crypto Mike 01. It's easy to find. Also, the podcast up on Spotify. It's Crypto Talk with Mike. Easy to remember. You can go to Spotify. If you don't have it, you can sign up for free with an email and listen to all the podcasts for free. New episodes are up. Okay? New episodes are up and ready. Someone up just last night. Okay? And here on YouTube, if you like the videos, please take a moment down below to comment, share, like, and subscribe. Okay? And if you like, also turn those notifications on, all right? Helps us a little bit to get the uh, YouTube algorithm to push us out a little bit, okay? Push us out, uh, let other people hear about us, okay? We're going to start off talking about decentralized exchanges. Uh, DEX is a supposed to be an antidote to centralized exchanges, okay? Which by law must identify their users and report certain information to the government, okay? That's the theory. In practice, the startups behind some of the top decentralized exchanges are deploying fairly sophisticated tools, reports Tim Copeland. Recently, a Twitter user highlighted how Uniswap, now we all know Uniswap, right? How Uniswap themselves, the company behind the most popular decentralized exchange on Ethereum, maintains a partnership with blockchain analytics firm TRM Labs. So, careful. This is why you're hearing Jack and Elon and others complain about Web3 and decentralized exchanges. We, we all hear, us crypto guys, us, us Bitcoin guys, we all, people, we all hear decentralized we all get excited. We don't like the centralized exchange. We don't like the centralized anything, right? So we get excited when we hear decentralized. Sometimes decentralized is just a word. It's not really what they're doing though, right? Now be careful, keep an eye on everybody, okay? Next up, political donations in the crypto space. Colin Post has been digging through public databases showing Political donations to U.S. campaigns, looking specifically, specifically for crypto connections. And there's more and more of those. In Washington, D.C., they've seen a large influx of new funding from the crypto industry. Okay, much of it just in the recent six months. Um, and much of it stemming because of the recent fight over the controversial broker clause in the recently passed infrastructure bill. This is U.S. news only. I know there's some people outside the U.S. listening. This piece here is for U.S. only. Okay. Colin reports that crypto's top three largest individual donors to campaign to campaigns in the United States were leaders in the crypto exchange industry. Number one, Bittrex. Number two, stablecoin operator, Paxos. And number three, DC-based blockchain association. No surprise there. A lot of people in crypto world don't want to, or Bitcoin world, don't want to get into politics, particularly U.S. politics at any level or any way. But the problem is they're coming to us and affecting us, so we have to get involved now. We have to go to them, engage in political action committees, things we don't want to do. This is this is how it starts, you know. Otherwise, they're just going to come and run right over us, and we'll have no representation. Now, it's now the end of the very end of 2021. The world's in in the and throughout the year of 2021, the world's Stablecoin supply grew by nearly 400%. Now, that's a lot. 
to more than $140 billion. Crypto companies raised just over $25 billion in venture funding. We've talked about a little bit of this during the year, but that's a lot. $25 billion, a little industry like this a couple of years ago, getting to be so big this quick. Very, very exciting. Crypto industry M&A activity surged 131% in 2021. Bitcoin miners, this is exciting. Bitcoin miners generated more than $15 billion in revenue. Central, this is, this is incredible. Centralized crypto exchanges saw over $14 trillion in trading volume this year. And decentralized exchanges, what we talked about just a minute ago, saw over one trillion, okay? One trillion trading volume. This is still very, very new. Very exciting. Also, in 2021, North America became the center of the crypto mining world. This past summer, China kicked out, or as far as we know, China kicked out the remaining uh, miners that were still operating there. Okay, they the banned the mining now four times. So theoretically, the miners have all been moved out of China. All right, reports say some are underground, haven't been tracked yet by China, but I just do not know yet. All right, China kicked out most of the cryptocurrency miners this past summer, in the summer of 2021. At this time, much of the industry then migrated to the United States and Canada. Now North America is home to more than a third of the network's hashing power. And a footprint on the continent, the footprint on the continent is poised to get much bigger in 2022. No surprise there. If all goes as planned, 21 public companies and five companies that have applied to go public will collectively add billions of dollars worth of mining machines to the network in 2022. Next up, we have to talk about this former U.S. President Donald Trump still staying with U.S. news for just a moment. But this can affect the whole world, I suppose. Former U.S. President Donald Trump told Maria Bartiromo from Fox Business News. This is a quote. Trump says, look, I want a currency called the dollar. I don't want to have all these others, he said. Mm -mm. And that could be an explosion someday, said Trump, the likes of which we've never seen. It'll make Big tech, it'll make the big tech explosion look like baby stuff. I think that's a very dangerous thing. That's a quote from Donald Trump, the former U.S. president, on uh, Fox Business News. So here's one thing a lot of in the U.S. You've got the flag behind us here, right? Because I'm in the U.S. In the U.S., this is one thing where a lot of Democrats and Republicans agree on. They don't like Bitcoin. They don't like the alts. They don't like the other cryptos. They don't want this creeping up on them. They don't want it messing with the Fed. For all the people that thought Donald Trump was some big independent person who was going to save everyone, well, when it came to the Fed, when it came to the big, big spending, kind of looked like a Democrat, right? Right? Spent a lot of money. People will tell you things. He gave a tax cut. He did give a big tax cut early on. That's true. And he got some uh, bipartisan support for that. But Trump protected the bankers, the Fed, the big military industrial complex. Protected them. All right? The whole way through. So now I'm not against Trump or I'm not against anyone in particular. I'm just telling you. You know, everyone thinks Biden don't like crypto, and that's true. He don't like crypto. He said it. Neither does Trump, right? And it looks like another matchup between the two of them in a couple of years. So we got two guys up there at the top job who don't like crypto. Not good. Another reason back to the previous story about the political action committees and donating. and, and I don't even like it. I find it all very distasteful. 
uh, getting involved in the Washington PAC money machine. But we didn't have to be, re be represented somehow. And if anyone has better ideas, comment below. Let me know. Let everyone know, please. I'm not saying there aren't better ideas. I just don't know what they are yet. So think about it. Let me know in the comments below. All right. So this, you found your way here, is Crypto Mike 9000 on YouTube. Please, if you like the content, like, share, subscribe, and comment. If you don't like the content, feel free to give me a thumbs down, but please tell me in the comments what you don't like so I can correct for what you guys want. If you guys are going to be watching, let me know what you like or don't like or want so I can adjust accordingly. Okay, since you guys are the ones got to watch this, consume this content, let me know what you want so I can get it to you. Okay, please join me on Patreon, Crypto Mike 01. Lots of bonus content on Patreon. Okay, Crypto Talk with Mike, my podcast that's up on Spotify for free. New episodes are there. Please join me there. Thank you very much.